Prostate cancer is a form of uh, cancer that is associated with a uh, prostate gland that is uh, present in the males. So the function of prostate gland is the production of uh, some fluids that is uh, released with the semen. It is the second leading cause of uh, death due to cancers in uh, USA. So this cancer is also seen in one out of nine males. So that means that one out of nine males can develop this cancer uh, in their lifetime. Uh, this cancer uh, which develops very very slowly and but once it advances into the late stages it can start to develop a lot of signs and symptoms in the males. Uh, this uh, prostate cancer it is most commonly seen in males after their 60s even though the disease start to form like very early but it will be mostly start to show symptoms when they reach the old age. In most of the people this uh, disease is diagnosed uh, during the late stage after 65 years of age. As most of the other cancers, this cancer also have uh, family predisposition. That means if uh, a person's parents, grandparents or their siblings, someone have this prostate cancer, there is like very high chance that this person can get this cancer. This is because uh, some of the uh, mutated genes that can be transmitted from the, uh, like the parents into the children which can carry this uh, cancer. It is also found that uh, some race and ethnicity also plays an important role in uh, prostate cancer. That means that some race, for example, African men have more chance of this prostate cancer as compared to other males. Also, like being overweight and obesity and the person who lives a sedentary lifestyle can have this uh, can have high risk of having this cancer as compared to a person who is having active lifestyle. Uh, some studies find out that like sometimes uh, exposure to some type of chemicals, radiation or uh, some medicines that you consume can also have increased chances of uh, this uh, prostate cancer. So these are the main uh, reasons or uh, risk factors for uh, prostate cancer. Now let's talk about uh, some signs and symptoms these uh, people uh, shows when they have this prostate cancer. The first of all, the first sign will be uh, the uh, blood in the urine. That means when the person will urinate, there will be presence of a lot of blood. It can be visible through our eyes, then it is like uh, macroscopic or like uh, uh, blood in large quantity. The, or like it can be microscopic, that means we cannot uh, see with our naked eyes only when we will do urine analysis. Uh, they will detect whether they, there is a presence of uh, blood in this urine. Next sign is uh, presence of blood in the ejaculate. When the person will uh, ejaculate the sperms, there will be a presence of, uh, uh, we can see the blood in the ejaculate. Another one sign is that uh, painful urination. That means uh, when the person urinate, there will be some uh, pain in the lower abdomen. Sometimes there will be irritation or like weak urine flow. The, the person will have sensation to urination but uh, the urine will be very less. Another one sign is that uh, there will be pain in the lower abdomen. It can be seen in the lower back or in the lower abdominal region and uh, this pain will, will be very severe. Another one sign that is associated with prostate cancer is uh, painful ejaculation. When the person will uh, release their sperms, there will be like uh, very severe pain and also in some people it can be associated with the erectile dysfunction also. There will be also other signs and symptoms that is associated with the cancer, for example, like uh, loss of weight, there will be uh, anemia in these people and also general weakness will be seen. The main way of diagnosing this condition is by checking the blood. So if we see there is uh, an antigen that is known as prostate specific antigen in the blood, uh, then there is a very high chance. In normal people, there will be very less amount of this antigen, but when there will be prostate cancer, this antigen level will be very, very high. The, this will be a sign and we can also do like a lot of uh, ultrasound examination, digital rectal examination. By these procedures we can easily diagnose this uh, condition. It is also recommended that uh, all the males once they reach like 50, 55 years of age they can uh, do this blood analysis for screening test for uh, analyzing the level of this prostate specific antigen whether it is normal or it's high. So uh, by doing the screening test, we can understand whether there is a problem with the prostate or not. Of course, the treatment of this condition is based on the stage of this disease, especially if it is uh, in the early stages, we will just resect this prostate gland. And uh, if it uh, advances to their lymph nodes, then we should remove these lymph nodes also, or we should uh, remove the total pelvic region. Or else we have to like remove all this pelvic region which got affected by these cancer cells and also we need to give radiation or chemotherapy. I hope that you guys got some idea about prostate cancer. See you in next video. Thank you.